Hello from North Wales. Hello. Jörg and I came to Anglesey this morning here in North Wales to go to a beautiful island called Jörg. I can't, can't pronounce it. Something like la la la. <laughs> it is Lundwin, the English pronunciation. And it's a tidal island. It's still very early. And it's the home of a patron saint called Dwinwin, we think. Yeah. The patron saint of lovers. Yes. So, so it says. they say it's the Welsh version of St. Valentine. Yes. And it's a beautiful island. And yeah, yeah. we visited, I think, three years ago and loved it. And yeah, let's go there. Yeah. It's got a wonderful lighthouse. Yes. Which dates back to the mid 19th century. It's actually, it's a magical island. Really, really magical. Now the island is west of beautiful Anglesey and it takes about two hours for us to come here because we live right by the Welsh border and what's really important if you come here do check the times for the tides. We have low tide now and it is 9.30 so it's the perfect time to check out the island and it's incredibly hot today. Unusually hot for the UK. So yeah, some people might be wondering, why are you wearing long sleeves today? It's simply because I don't want to get a sunburn. Yeah, he it's always does it. why I'm wearing a scarf. Yeah. Because it protects my, my neck. Exactly. And the car park is called Newborough Warren. Yeah. So yeah, we park the car there and then it takes about half an hour to go to the island. Yeah. So that's really good. And it's... It's just so beautiful. North Wales is beautiful. Just have a look here. My outfit today seems really strange. I've got my Victorian inspired umbrella and like the further down you go, you will see Timberland shoes. It doesn't match, but you need them here. Look how absolutely gorgeous this place is. I love this lighthouse. Yeah, it's beautiful. It really is. Yeah, and it dates back to 1845. Mm -hmm. And they say it was built in the style of a windmill. Yeah, it reminds me of a windmill. Yes. Yeah. To me, it reminds me of, uh, let's say, a building in Greece on the yeah. Mediterranean islands. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, because it's so white and blue sky. Yeah, especially today. Yeah. Totally. We could be in Greece now. There is a second lighthouse, yes, which seems to be older. It is older, but you don't really know from when. No, and it's still working. You still use it. Yeah. Anybody, if you watched the Dorals, we'd love the series. In case you haven't watched it, we will link it for you down below. And 
we feel a bit like the dolls today. What, what a wonderful day. A little bit too hot to walk around to be honest, but we prepared a tiny, tiny picnic. Well, probably picnic would be a bit of an exaggeration, but we packed some food. Jörg is wearing an oldie, but a goodie. This cap is ancient. Yeah, 20 years old. I think even older. But this place is, I think, like North Wales is a bit underrated. Yeah. It has so many beautiful spots. This is one of them. Yeah. It's so worth. It's really beautiful. It's so worth coming here. Yeah. And last time we were a bit under pressure, like because the tide, high tide was coming in and we had to leave really quickly. But now we've got a lot of time. Yeah. Because we haven't been to this lighthouse before. No, no. So this is really nice to have a bit more time. Looking for play so that we can have a little rest now. But it's quite tricky to find something that has a bit of shade. Let's have a little rest here. There's a tiny fresh breeze. No shade, but it will it will do. We brought a little insulated bag. So we have some, I hope they are still cool, the trains, yeah. Still called Pellegrino. What's its name? Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that feels good. So we have, we have, I can't see it. It only says 23 degrees Celsius, which isn't too bad, but because it's like we are like in the sun, it feels warmer. Oh. <laughs> Let's have a drink. Look what I packed. Melon. Mm. Fancy Good. that? Yeah, it's an excellent idea. Yeah. <laughs> German pretzel. Yeah. Bon Appetit. Guten Appetit, my Schatz. Ja, danke schön. Das ist die Schmecken. Mhm. Und das mit dieser Aussicht. Mhm. Herrlich.
And we think this is such a lovely beach as well. If you're really into bathing, yeah. this is heavenly. Yeah, it is. Like compare it to other parts in the UK, which are packed. That's not a crowded <laughs> beach. Someone is screaming. But the water is cold. I, I would think so. Beautiful views into Snowdonia as well. We love Snowdonia. Dramatic landscapes, wonderful hiking trails. And you definitely need protection from the sun, not an ad of course. We always take like a small tube because it fits in every yeah. handbag. It's good. I think next time, because we're running out of this one, we should get 50. Yeah. 30 is a bit low. We even saw some seals, but we couldn't film them. They were a bit far away, but we could, we could see their heads above the water and we could hear we could, we could just hear them. It was so nice. I have to ask you something because it just crossed my mind. Yeah. Do you know if people can get married on the island? Oh no, I don't know. But that would be because it is home to the patron saint of Lovers. Of, of love? Lovers? I yeah. don't, so it would make sense yes. to get married there. Yes. It would absolutely make sense. I think it would be the perfect spot. Yeah. You know, I think we should look that up. Cause yeah, we'll have to look it up. What do you think of the island? It's wonderful. It's beautiful. Yeah. We feel the love. Yes. <laughs> this is Menai Bridge. The gorgeous suspension bridge between Anglesey and the mainland of Wales. And you can even see Mount Snowdon today. Yeah. Didn't yeah. expect that. No, but you can. So that's Wales highest mountain. Mm -hmm. But it's a bit hard to describe where it is. How would you how would you say? So there is a some sort of map. Yeah. Now look. You've got the island. Mm hmm and Then just up. Now. Oh. Yeah. 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 And then just up. And there is a thing, like a little bit shorter yeah. and, and longer. It's called Kripkoch. Yeah. And at the end of Kripkoch, where the sharp edge is, that's Snowden. And Kripkoch, many people do it. It's the most dangerous path to Mount Snowden. Yeah. So many people do it for for a thrill. You have to be experienced. They yeah. say you have to be experienced, so it would be too dangerous, not worth risking. But I love the view from here. Yeah. It's stunning. And the bridge is from 1826. Yes. Built by... Thomas, Thomas Telford. Yeah. Built and planned by Thomas yeah. Telford. So I have to tell you what happened. It's so, so strange to end the video like this. When we filmed Manaya Bridge, we were already on our way home. So we got back in the car and I fell asleep. I was so, so tired and I was completely knocked out. And we had plans or we had the plan to end the video at home. And we got home and I said, I said to Yerk, I'm too tired. I just, I can't film anymore. And we said, okay, let's do it the next day, which is today. And I just got off the phone with Jörg and he's stuck at the office. We wanted to end this video together, but he's stuck at the office. So he asked me to do it by myself. And yeah, I'm currently packing for Cornwall. We're leaving for Cornwall very soon. I'm really excited, but the weather forecast isn't the best. We're still on a heat wave here in the UK. It's so muggy, you can't believe how sweaty I am. And yeah, there's supposed to be rain. I hope it, it won't be too bad, so fingers crossed. 
but we can't wait to explore or to visit Cornwall again. We, um, we hope you like this video. It's honestly such a magical island. And yeah, we'll see you again very soon. There probably won't be a video on Tuesday because we will still be traveling, but I will try my best for Wednesday or Thursday. We'll see. I keep you posted. So until next time, guys, and thank you so much. Bye.